Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April, 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active sky, but really for you, I'm gonna to start towards the end because that is when we are going to have a full moon. And it is the second of two full moons to take place in your sign. If you think back to last month, I mentioned we had a full moon in your sign. And as much as full moons can bring with them completion and closure and culmination, it was that full moon that was happening at the very beginning of its respective sign, of your sign, which meant that along with the sense of closure came a sense of the possible, came a sense of the new and the next. Well, now we are going to have a second rare full moon in your sign. Some like to call this a blue moon when we have two full moons back to back in the same part of the sky. But the difference now is that it is happening at the very end of your sign. And this is where a true sense of endings and closure and intensity is going to take place that much more. Now, just having one full moon per sign per year is the norm but it's been different for you this year. And this highlights what an important time it really is for you. There is this powerful sense now that you are changing and that who you knew yourself to be before is no longer the case. You've already started to implement some things that do suggest a new beginning. However, we had under the light of that last full moon, Mercury retrograde season, and it's been quite the doozy, a particularly confusing energy with this particular Mercury retrograde season. As we start the month, you may still be feeling some of this energy, but by the time we get to that full moon, just before that full moon, Mercury will leave shadow and will move into your opposite sign. And all of this does suggest that you are feeling much more clear, having a much better understanding of what your not only beginning, but more importantly, where your healthy closures are set to take place. So we have this full moon happening in your sign and there is gonna be a lot of emotion with you and a lot of emotion rising to the surface at this time. At the same time as this full moon, under the light of the full moon, we've got Mercury moving into your opposite sign. We've also got Venus moving into your opposite sign as well. And all of this suggests that it is ultimately going to shift your focus, not only more clearly on yourself and who you really want and what it is that you know to be true about you, but other people are gonna to start to play more and more of a role. Now this is energy you're actually gonna to start to feel even earlier in the month. It is other people that might be challenging as the month begins, but by the time we move to the middle of the month and by the time we get to that full moon, the energy starts to change and it starts to feel like people are a great blessing in your life. And they may very well be part of what helps to facilitate this sense of clarity, this sense of connecting with the truth that is deeply personal, that has the potential to change your direction in profound ways. That full moon is going to be speaking in harmony with Jupiter. So there's that sense of hope and expansion at this time. However, that full moon will also be standing across the sky from Uranus. Uranus has just dipped into a new part of the sky, a part of the sky that has to do with truth for you. It has to do with an area of life that has to do with seeing beyond the illusions, seeing to the core of an issue, understanding things deeply. And it is this very perspective that's going to come on very much by surprise is going to be part of what ultimately wakes you up in a snap and begins a journey for you where you start to understand yourself differently in much more profound and immediate and surprising ways than you did just one month earlier. So let's talk about that new moon in the early part of the month and the things that are happening in your opposite sign. 
This has to do with your alliances. Now, alliances of all kinds are covered here. Business alliances, professional alliances, romantic alliances as well. It is in the early part of the month, right around the 4th is when we are going to have a new moon. Now, this new moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. So there is that sense of possibility and that sense of excitement. But at the same time, this new moon will be speaking in conversations of tension with Saturn and with Pluto. Now, there are a few ways I see this energy playing out. This is a new moon. It tends to bring with it new people. Um, it can be that new people do show up, but there may be a complicated history there, a history of you or a history of them, uh, some connection to the past that um, creates some sense of maybe some questions for you. It can also be at this time that it feels as if other people are being particularly demanding where it comes to the professional goals that the two of you may share. However, by the time we get to the middle of the month, the energy is just so fortunate. It is so lucky. We have a beautiful connection playing out between the sun and Jupiter. This is one of the more fortunate days of the year. And what at the beginning of the month might feel uncertain or is asking you uh, for sacrifice or determination or focus in ways that aren't always comfortable, by the time we get to the middle of the month, the big rewards are going to be there. And so wherever it is that you are feeling ready for a fresh start in a particular alliance or welcoming in new people for that matter, uh, where it is that these alliances are actually going to help you to move your life forward in more inspired directions, well, that will be revealed more fully by the time we get to the middle of the month when the sun and Jupiter form what astrologers call a trine. Now this is supremely harmonious and this is energy that astrologers call a trine and this is energy that is considered truly fortunate. One of the most fortunate days of the year set to take place and it is going to be about other people the one-on-one -on -one connections you have that are part of facilitating big opportunity in your life. But of course, if we're talking about opposite side, we're talking about Venus as well. Look, a lot of this may play out for a lot of Libras out there in the context of love. And so if you are open to meeting someone new, it could be that in the early part of the month with that new moon, someone new does show up. In fact, when we have important lunar activity in your opposite sign, it tends to bring someone in, if only so that you can understand yourself differently as you relate to them. As I like to see, to see yourself differently as reflected in the eyes of another. It is the reflection, it is the interpretation of what you see in you that matters here. And yes, as part of this, it could be that there is some attraction that stirs you, stirs your emotions, makes you aware of your fears, makes you aware of early messaging, childhood messaging that might have been there. It is also possible with this that um, there is some desire for another person, but uh, again, I'm going back to that idea of childhood messaging. It could be as simple as your own sense of worthiness and comfort with yourself. Uh, it could be that you know, this is a type of person of a different background uh, and you had certain messaging around that when you were a child. Uh, but now here's your opportunity to consider uh, what it is that ultimately is going to move you towards greater happiness. And a lot of these lessons may come right to the forefront at this time. If you are someone who is uh, getting to know somebody, well, it could be right around this new moon with this sense of fresh starts, this sense of fresh beginnings, that you get a fresh perspective on this person. There is a lot of hope there, but it could also be that some questions do arise for you. But by the time we get to the middle of the month, once that beautiful connection between the sun and Jupiter sets in, there's a real sense of possibility. It could be with this person that you're just getting to know, but it is also very possible this month that you meet someone new and it feels like that may be a more powerful connection for you, especially as we get to the middle of the month. For those of you in an established bond, it can feel as if there's something the two of you are talking about, uh, that you're excited about, that you could be moving towards. 
uh, there's a sense of companionship and friendship that is there in the early part of the month. But at the same time, there might also be some difficult questions or a matter that the two of you are addressing that may not necessarily feel comfortable. It could have to do with families. It could have to do with uh, where you live and how you feel about where you live. These can be some matters, but it can also be that you are noticing yourself replace certain patterns that maybe you saw in childhood and now here you are wanting your current situation to actually be different, wanting to evolve beyond the patterns of the past. That is your learning opportunity and that also shows you where your work is. As we move to the middle of the month, it just looks so beautiful for those of you who are in an established bond and it gets better and better the further we move into the month. Part of that realization that you have as we get to the full moon in your sign may very well be around what has been happening within your established bond and how you feel about it. You're getting to some truth of a matter and it may actually surprise you where uh, you see yourself differently in this. And so sometimes, yes, it is that there is something going on within the bond uh, that your partner is the factor but sometimes it isn't necessarily about the partner it is about what's happening with you your own expectations your own patterns uh, your own sense of where it is that you um, are being shown a part of you that isn't necessarily comfortable to look at whatever it is whatever that reflection is it is going to take you by surprise but ultimately will form the foundation towards a more meaningful future and a more genuine liberation ahead. For a very small percentage of you out there, if there's been somebody, whether you're getting to know them, you're dating them, or you consider yourself bonded to them in some way, there is a sense, a powerful sense now of change and faith in love being available to you. And that may mean that you feel ready to change your current alliance. What I love about this month for you, I think it really is that beautiful connection between the sun and Jupiter with the sun in your opposite sign. Well, it is also Jupiter, right? Because Jupiter is moving through a part of the sky that has to do with synchronicity, being in the right place at the right time, and it just making all the difference, meeting the right person, giving you a whole other perspective. And it is now that other people are gonna facilitate not only some of the greatest personal awarenesses for you now, but also practical opportunities as well. Whether it is to grow professionally or personally or romantically, other people want to align with you. And with a month like this, those alliances prove to be part of the great fortune ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.